or actually Wednesday in just a few days, we have to have all the stuff out of the shop. So all this stuff in here has got to be out of the shop and walked around the outside. So I put a bunch of pine needles out there just between here and there. So we can move this stuff out, put it underneath the, uh, the carport over there. And uh, then we're going to get blown insulation, blown insulation up in the ceiling. And on these three walls, the three outer walls, but not this back wall right here. This back wall right here goes to the office. We're gonna actually insulate it on the office side. So we'll do all the insulation on the office. Man, the rain's coming down now. Um, so today we're getting prepared for that. All right, so uh, tomorrow morning, the closed cell foam insulation guys are gonna be here to do the roof and three of these walls. So I've got uh, pretty much everything moved out for the most part of here. Uh, a few things left that we'll just put a tarp over. And they're going to do these three walls. This, this wall here. This wall here. And that wall there. Front wall. As well as the ceiling. And do all the ceiling up here. Let's get away from life. So basically all the ceiling up in there. They're not going to do this wall because we're going to do this wall from the other side. So uh, once they get here tomorrow, we will... Uh, take some footage of them doing the closed cell insulation as much as we can. So probably won't be able to be in there, but might be able to take uh, some pictures from afar because of the safety reasons, uh, safety reasons with the closed cell foam. So we've got all the uh, electric in here pre-wired and we are ready to go with spray foam. I'm excited this morning. Because today, we got our insulation. They'll be here in about an hour to come in and put some insulation up top and then also in the office. When the night comes crawling And I'm all alone As you can see, Tennessee Pro Foam has arrived. They are inside taping off the outlets, doing all the prep that they need before they start blowing in the uh, spray foam. Once they get the prep done, they've got about 250 feet of hose they can bring in here and start uh, getting our insulation in. They're gonna start in the office first and then we'll move to the shop and finish that off. So they seal up the outlets and they cover the entire floor. finishing up the uh, office area and they're prepping the shop so uh, due to safety reasons I can't be in there while they're spraying the foam but I'll show you the uh, results here but... So the spray foam guys spent a lot of time here yesterday. So I did not realize it was quite as elaborate and involved. It requires a lot of prep work uh, because the stuff just gets everywhere when you spray it. So I'm really pleased that I uh, did not take this job on myself and buy all the equipment because it's just a messy job. And uh, pretty happy with the office for sure. Um, in the shop, I think we probably should have explained to them that we were leaving it open. So I think they assumed that we we're just going to close in the ceiling here. Uh, and they also got really late when they were in here. So there's some cleanup 
You can see normally um, they would probably clean up on some of these beams, which they, they didn't because it was after dark and they had another job to go to, I think. Um, so there's a little bit of extra cleanup here. We could either uh, call them back or just uh, do it ourselves as we decide whether we're going to put something, uh, as we decide whether we're going to put a ceiling here or not. All right, so we're in the shop here. You can see the, uh, the beams in the walls where we're going to be putting up the actual wall covering. Uh, all cleaned off pretty good. Ceiling's in pretty good shape. They cleaned everything up pretty good in here. So this one's ready to go. So we're, we've got a few projects now that the insulation is done in the shop and the office. We're going to start here, I think, in the shop. We've got a three-day weekend. So we are going to uh, work on fixing the threshold over here. We're actually going to replace this entire door frame. We've ordered the door frame. It may be delivered today. So we may end up replacing that whole frame today. But the main thing is to get the threshold down. And then we're going to start on the floor in here. So basically a few projects in here. We've got door frame and threshold, flooring, and then basically button up the walls and the <clears throat> And then basically the last thing is closing in the ceiling and the walls. And the office will be pretty close to being finished at that point. So we're in uh, pretty good shape in here. We'll start sleeping the floor in here, get that flooring outside, get this all prepped and ready for us to put the flooring down. So the pre-hung door that was supposed to come yesterday did not. We also ordered flooring and the flooring pad, which is supposed to be here today. Since COVID started, none of the mail, USPS, UPS, FedEx, none of it seems to come on time. So I think their algorithms are messed up. Everything seems to be a day, two days, a week, two weeks sometimes, maybe even months for the USPS here. Everything seems to get hung up at the Memphis Distribution Center for US Postal Service. However, our door and our materials will not be coming USPS, so hopefully they'll just be maybe a day or two late if we're lucky, we'll get the flooring materials today. However, we continued with some things. Um, so I went ahead and wrapped up the electric out here. So I tied in all of the outlets here. Uh, we got some new, got a few more lights installed back here. I put in a, uh, a dedicated circuit for the miter saw and we've got our panel door back on. So the only thing we're waiting for is on the other side of this wall, we've got a motion detector light right there. So when we moved everything out of here, I've misplaced the outdoor fixture for it. So as soon as we find that, I will wrap up the electric for the shop. So we're in good shape. The insulation results, uh, yesterday we had the fire going. It was going for about 30 minutes and it warmed up in here nice and it held the heat. So we've got our climate control in place with the insulation. Well, uh, we did call back the Tennessee Pro Foam because there's a few things that I think they missed uh, because they were here way late. It was after dark and they were rushing to another job. Uh, they came back out. We showed them what we needed to have done and they're going to come back out and fix that up. So great people at uh, Tennessee Pro Foam uh, and they'll hook you up with some great closed cell or open cell foam spray. All right. So for today, uh, if that stuff comes, we will get to work back on the office, getting the flooring in and getting that door in. If that stuff doesn't come today, we've also got my brother-in-law coming out to give some ideas on which subfloor we need to remove and just some construction tips. Uh, so we may start removing some of that subfloor. I'll definitely be cutting some trees down. So we need to get these trees removed on the backside out here uh, because the pool will be breaking ground in just a few weeks. So we wanna have all that gone and cleared out back down to the creek. Um, and then next week, we will be breaking up all this concrete with a hydraulic breaker.